You know, some years ago, Mama used to ask me, Honey, all these preachers that preach about God will give you money, God will give you car, God will give you house. If you believe, shout amen. Mama would say to me, Honey, what about multi billionaires? Will they listen to that preacher? I say, For what? They will tell him, Come, 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 stop shouting. What is it? What is it? Cool down. Take two million, go on vacation. Because if that is all you are preaching is car, house, money, take, take, take. Unbelievers can solve your problem. It means your message cannot reach an unbeliever who is loaded. And there are unbelievers, men, that are loaded. They've got their private jets, they've got their yachts in the sea, and they've got fleets of vehicles that they cannot count. Your message is irrelevant to them. That means your Jesus cannot touch them. That is why Jesus didn't come for things. He came to save sinners. Because the man has everything, but there's one thing he doesn't have. The salvation of his soul. And that's the gospel. Am I teaching here? If you're hearing, shout, I hear you. So, the gospel is not things. But as a believer, we must show you how you can use the word of God to unleash the power of God to give you a good life. And that's why I'm teaching what I'm teaching, but that's not the crux of the gospel, but it's part of the goodness of God for you. Because there are some people that are very loaded. If you're preaching, it's just, the Lord will give you money, don't worry, things will be well, he will give you visa. The man tells you, all the ambassadors are my personal friends. We're going to have dinner with all of them next week. Such a person doesn't need visa. Because visas are all at his beck and call. Am I talking here? The reason why you are thinking like this is because of where you are coming from. Poverty has dealt with you and your family. So now that you have escaped to hear that God is good, so you zero in on one side of his goodness. Car, house, money, job. God, you no, know, there are people that that is not their prayer point. All the money they need is already on ground. What they are looking for is how to settle eternity. And there are some of you looking at me, you will get there. Too much money. You, you're not saying amen. Yeah. Plenty of money. Yeah. But it is going to be for the gospel. Yeah. Amen. It's going to be for what? Because, because if, that, if it's not for the gospel, then what are you looking for? You want to open a prostitute's house? What are you looking for too much money for? The, it must have a mission. It is called money missionary. Your money must have a mission. Money without a mission is a punishment. You will sit down and be unhappy with plenty of figures in your bank account. You feel depressed. I cancel poverty from your blood. Your amen is not the type that used to cancel that kind of poverty. You will lay, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You will lay plenty of money on ground. There are people in this church that by virtue of understanding your heart is being made up you will prosper financially and you will touch lives oh i say you will touch lives can you imagine that you have a lot of money that you just build a housing estate 15 houses you call widows and just tell them go and take it you feel good that's what money is for that's what money is for money is for touching lives it's not for you putting it and just looking at it that's poverty and you know this, this thing about money? When you keep money, I don't give it a mission. It will create a mission. Money, it will create a mission. Very soon, one old man from the village that you cannot say no to will come to you with one long village problem. You will cut and give. Somebody else will come that you are sympathetic to. Problems will start arriving. You that nobody used to look for. Everybody will be looking for you. And the moment the mon money finish, nobody will come again. Because the money will attract problem. Because the job of money is to solve problems. I'm teaching here. So that's why you yourself, before money creates problem, you must set a project and have a vision. So that as the money is coming, it is going to the vision. I'm teaching. And no other project on earth can be as, as impactful like the gospel. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. We will preach this gospel. From the mountain top to the valley, we will preach this gospel all over the world. And there will be plenty of money to do it. We will preach it and the devil cannot resist it. 
your amen is sitting on a stool somebody say things so what you need is with somebody or it is within your industry it is either with somebody or is in your industry industry has to do with you your business your profession your job your career because some of you it is through your office that your needs will be met and some of you it could be through somebody that will favor your cause and bless you so it will either come through somebody as a gift or it will come out of your own industry and some of you can suddenly come up with an idea that will sell very much and there'll be plenty of money out of that idea to supply you the things you need and to touch other lives so those are the two ways it comes it comes through your own industry or it comes through gifts and favor or through other people somebody say i hear so generally these things don't come from heaven they operate here on the earth somebody said with me men are responsible for things say it again men are responsible for things john 16 23 to 24 and in that day you shall ask me nothing verily verily i say unto you whatsoever you shall ask the father in my name he will give it to you i mean emphatic profound statements by jesus next verse he thought oh, have you asked nothing in my name ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full now when jesus said ask and receive that your joy may be full you know what jesus is dealing with here things things let me ask you a question if you ask for a mercedes benz and in the next three days you are blessed with a mercedes benz is your joy not full the joy is full so when jesus was saying ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full he was referring to things things the things that get, make you joyful the things that bring happiness material things natural things you know that's what jesus was talking about here john 14 12 to 14. verily verily i say unto you he that believeth on me the works that i do shall he do also and greater works than this shall he do because i go unto my father next verse and whatsoever you shall ask in my name that will i do that the father may be glorified in the son if you shall ask anything in my name i will do it i will what do it dealing with things first timothy 6 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in the living god who giveth us richly how many things all things to do what god wants you to enjoy if a mercedes will give you additional comfort god wants it for you if a three bedroom flat will give you additional comfort god wants it for you if a duplex will make you give you additional comfort god wants it for you he he has given us richly all things to enjoy so within these all things that he has given you can release your faith to receive any part of all these things that he has richly given us so it's not god keeping it from us it is we failing to receive